Hey guys, how are you doing? Hallo, grüß Gott. My name is Johannes Maringer and this is yet another perfume related video. Today I want to talk about atomizers, applying perfumes and how to get the maximum out of every single spray. So definitely stay tuned. So the first thing I want to talk about is how to apply your perfume because there are many misconceptions among many people. Now this has been discussed a lot in the perfume community but I really can't stress this enough. For example there are people who spray the perfume into the air and straight walk into the mist they've created, okay? Now what do you think about this? Uh, not so good. <laughs> so people who do this actually think that they over spray if they're spraying themselves and this is fine but it really depends on the perfume and for example if you like putting on you a very summery a very light a very fresh perfume then you won't be smelled <laughs> the perfume will be gone in a few hours and you will have wasted a lot of juice so not the best way to do so there are other people who spray too close you know like some people if they want to try in their hand they spray so close to their skin that they create like this pool of liquid on their hand and that's another thing that you want to avoid you don't want to have uh, like this all perfume not distributed well just all in one place it's not the real deal so what you actually are aiming for is the perfect spraying distance. Okay, what is the perfect spraying distance? To sum it all up, it's just the distance where the stream that comes out of the nozzle creates this little cloud and falls off, okay? So as you see right here, I'm spraying a few different of my perfumes and you see all the atomizers are different. Now, this also means that the spraying distance is different and varies from perfume to perfume, okay? Super important to know. And if you really want to find out the right, the right spring distance for your scent, <clears throat> then just go and find a black background with good lighting and spray the perfume once to see where it distributes and where you want to hit yourself, okay? So there's a little trick. <laughs> right now it's very warm outside, it's very hot. As you see, I have t-shirt on. So what you want to do is put the spraying nozzle, the atomizer on your wrist and aim it towards your armpit, okay? Because if you spray, the juice will create like this stripe of perfume on your skin. So you get a little bit more of perfume on yourself. And that's just a very elegant way of saving a little bit of perfume. Now, I've tried this also on my neck. <laughs> As you see, I have a very long neck and you would think like, just spray it down on my neck. Trust me guys, <laughs> don't do that. What you can do, because this is also very annoying and to me actually it happens sometimes. You spray yourself, but you miss yourself because the spraying nozzle was a little bit tilted to the side. So you always want to make sure that it's tilted directly towards you your neck and spray it okay so you're not losing any of your juice well that's it for the video so thank you that's it for now i hope you enjoyed this kind of video and i'll definitely see you in the next one take care